Hello viewers, my name is Engineer Abu Dele, popularly known as Dilex. Uh, Dilex is the name of my communication and electronics engineering company anyway, and so people call me by that name Dilex. Now on this channel, I will be disseminating to you some important beneficial information, tips on security and safety, which is important to every life. Security and safety is important to every individual at all age because you need to be saved and secured before you can enjoy life and before you can plan for your future. And so on this channel, I will be revealing to us what will benefit us in all ramifications. Lack of knowledge on security and safety, you know, had led so many people to their untimely grave. While it had led some people to unrecoverable condition, which they will live to regret throughout their lifetime. Stay tuned while you enjoy today's episode. On today's episode, I'll be revealing to us why do some cars door get locked when, when they crash or when they catch fire. It is important we know this so that you know what to do to save your life when you fall victim. Actually, nobody is praying to fall victim of such. Perhaps you fall victim. How will you save your life? And that is why I have come to reveal to us what to do if you fall victim. This phenomenon is common to all cars with electronics door lock. We have two major types of door lock. We have the temporary one and we have the permanent one. For the temporary type, the temporary type one is, is, is from the manufacturer. Once there is crash, the, vehicle, the car door will automatically get locked. And this is for safety purpose. It is for safety purpose because perhaps if there is an accident and the vehicle has to somersault, if the vehicle somersaulted, you know, without the, the door locked, the impact can force the door to open. And once the doors are open, the passenger can be thrown out, which can lead to a severe accident and probably even death. But the moment there is an impact of other accident, the, 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 the temporary lock will be locked. And once the car stopped and you make an attempt to open the door, the door will definitely be opened because it's temporarily locked. But the permanent lock, that can be caused by an error. It could be as a result of the fire or as a result of the crash, which can force the lock mechanism to get locked. And once the lock mechanism gets locked, it means there is nothing you can do to open it. Even if you make an attempt to open it, it won't open. And which is very dangerous because if it is fire accident, that means the, the person will get locked and get trapped in the car. And that person can, you know, get suffocated and died. Many have fallen victim in the time past. Some get born severely, while some died. For example, we have a record of a whole family that died in car fire accident in Abuja last December 2019. According to the news, the vehicle caught fire while on motion. They, they tried to stop and try to open so that they can run for their life. The door were permanently locked. And before they could see anybody to help them, they were already born to ashes. The car manufacturer does not make provision for a way out when you fall victim of such. I therefore came out with a simple preventive idea, which I will present to us right away. We should always prepare, though nobody is actually praying to fall victim, but we should always prepare perhaps we fall victim. And so I want to beseech every car owner to get a sledge armor. What I mean by this, this is a sledge armor. To get a sledge armor, then you try and remove the the handle. Once you remove the handle, you have this alone. The reason why I'm not advising you to keep the old armor in your car is that if it's kept in your car during the stop and search exercise by, by policemen, they can count it against you as a weapon. But once you have the edge alone. There is a place you will keep it in your car that will be very close to you, which you always, which you can easily have access to if you fall victim of fire accident. And the size of this armor is strong enough. It's about 4.5 to 7 kg. The average sledge armor is between 4.5 and 7 kg, which is strong enough to break any screen, to break any glass for you to escape. 
You should not say probably you, don't, you want to damage your car. Once your car is on fire, it's already damaged. It's already damaged. The only thing you should be doing is your life. Once you escape, you will be able to, you will, by the grace of God, you buy another car. So this sledgehammer will help you to break the windows so that you will be able to, you will be able to escape. You ensure you get this. We call it file cutter. We call this file cutter. This file cutter, sometimes when you, when we have fire heartbreak, seat belt of your car get you trapped down. And even as you try to remove the belt, you won't be able to remove it because of the impact of the accident. This blade is what you will use in cutting off the belt. And once you cut the belt, it will give you free hand to be able to come out. I'll be revealing to us the way the car door locked permanently. I want you to take a, 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 a keen look of this. This, this bulb is going to serve as the mechanism. The operational voltage for this bulb is 12 volt DC. The operational voltage too for car door mechanism is also 12 volt. So while this is this switch will serve as the door where, where you open the door and where you lock it. Now, if you open the if you if you lock it now, it will allow current to pass through the mechanism. Because I, I let's assume I have put it on now, I have locked it. So the current will go into the mechanism and, and lock the door then the moment you unlock it the current will no longer flow and once current is no longer flow it will allow you to open the door now let's assume the door is locked this way you can unlock you can lock you can unlock you can you can lock now it has been is unlocked but the moment there is an accident now it will force a wire for example this is it if i bring these two wires on this ordinary now it will melt it together and as it melts it together it will join it will it will join the wire and as it join the wire even if you put it off or you put it on it will be permanently locked so the next thing for you is getting a sledge armor your sledge armor you have to this has to be kept in your car which i'm going to take you right now to the car and show you how where to keep it and how to to go about it if if perhaps you fall victim yes i'm here right now in my car to demonstrate to you the use of the sledgehammer and the cutter. This is the head of the sledgehammer I ask you to keep in the car with the cutter. Now, this sledgehammer can be kept anywhere that you can easily have access to. For example, this is my safe. This my safe here is, is of course, even this can take, even if this, if this sledgehammer is as big, it's twice this, it will, it, will, it, it will be able to contain it. Once the two are kept there, and your belt, you use your belt, while driving if there is any trouble and the, the belt is hooked up the next thing for you is to open and you pull out the knife and you cut once you cut it off the next thing is to carry the to carry the sledge armor you use it on the glass you break the glass once you break the glass you will be able to move out of the car from the fire and you will save your life and save the life of other people that are inside the car with you thank you for watching Dilex channel don't forget to subscribe keep safe keep secured thank you and god bless you